and is one of the people who has been in broadcasting for many, many years to talk about him. And I'm talking about Jerry Stevens, who passed away this past week. And to talk about Jerry and his career, we have another person who's been around for a hundred years, Mr. Dean Tyler. He's been around for 101. He's been around for 100. I think between the two of us, we must have a, at least 150 years of experience in broadcasting. Over 200. Kelly May Clampett. I can talk to 84 of them. I've seen him here before. Well, needless to say, this is not a happy occasion for me because uh, I was very fond of you. And he was kind of fond of me, but you never were sure. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? But Jerry was very special. And in order to explain why I say that, you've got to allow that he did things very much the same way I do, or did. Uh, way, way back, when I was at WIPG years ago, we had a slogan that said, it's what's between the music that counts. Yep. But we had the likes of Joe, uh, and uh, Hi. Hi. Hi my God, that's right. I forgot for a moment. You gotta give me credit, I'm getting old. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> but uh, he was a very special guy. And I, I had spent a lot of time with Jerry on and off the air and enjoyed most of it. And at one point, we hit a bump in the road and we didn't quite hit it off well uh, because he misunderstood something that I did she and I for him. In elementary school together. And from there, I had to get straight with him again, as you would say. He was one of the best talents I ever worked with. Now, I, I spent a lot of time on the air, but the primo years for me were when I was programming and also occasionally went on the air and did other things because after a while, radio became sort of like a, you could be making paper clips. You know, you were worried about the bottom line and doing this and that and the other. But I always was into the talent and the interesting part of the broadcast industry. Jerry was among the best of all of them that I ever worked with. And I worked with a lot of them. If you looked at my resume, you'd say, you can hold a job, could you? <laughs> but I kept moving to better places because I had support of people that thought I could bring something to the table. And, and now I'm retired. <coughs> I leave all my responsibilities over to my wife. <laughs> Fortunately, she's here today because I just had my 86th birthday and she's <laughs> here. Thank you, I guess. Are you glad that I'm still here or are you hoping I'm going? But uh, I was always very fond of Jerry because we believed in the same philosophies, except I think he was smarter than me. And I think if I, if I were to uh, run a survey with people in the radio industry that knew Jerry, they would say he's one of the smartest people I ever knew in broadcasting. And he spent most of his time on the air. He could have done a lot more if he had wanted to. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, uh, rehire Jerry when he was hit for a long time. When I got a call from a lady that I didn't even know, turned out it was his wife. And she said, I've got a guy that I think you might like to use. And she told me the story, and by the end of the conversation, I knew who she was talking about without mentioning his name. Jerry was very special, but a lot of people never got to know that. 
uh, he played a significant part in Philadelphia radio for many, many years. He ran, if, if you read his, if you read his resume, you would see what a, what a contribution he made to the industry. And at the time of his passing, we were, com we were talking, Jerry and I, on a regular basis, because much like me, he didn't, he didn't look for the glor glorification of what he did for a living. He just wanted to make it work and make it good. And we shared that, the two of us. <coughs> and we had a falling out. Because when I had finally put him into the uh, morning show on WPEN after many years of success for him, he did every format you could imagine, as did I. And, and I respected him a great deal for that because he was so good at it. But I couldn't. I had trouble staying in touch with him for a while because he was a little bit behind the scenes. He didn't want to expose himself, in a manner of speaking. But he did, finally. And we got him back into the industry. I don't want to expose myself either. And when, when he passed away, he was a member of the broadcast band at Pioneers, but he was, was hoping that I could help the Philadelphia radio industry realized how good he was. And I certainly was no problem with me to, to, to do that. And we did it, and when I got the phone call just last week, I was up in Philadelphia, as I often am, and coming back down to my home in Brigantine, New Jersey, and uh, I heard that Jerry had passed away. Well, fortunately, I wasn't driving, or I'd have probably gotten off the road. I'll miss Jerry, and I think the industry will miss him for a long time to come. I hope so, because Jerry Stevens was the sweetest voice and the smartest brain that I ever worked with. I thought he was so scary that I was afraid he was going to take my job. <laughs> but it's worked out. We both re retained some civility. And I was hoping his wife would be here today. I've been on the phone with her. And I, I had a feeling she wouldn't come to this because there's a special ceremony, I think, this weekend. And we will definitely be there, my wife and I. And uh, I just wanted this opportunity to say that whomever would listen, what a great contribution he made to the radio industry. He was very, very good and very honest. Sometimes in radio it's not good to be too honest, but he, he proved that he was at the talent that I knew he had in him. And I can't tell you how sad I am about this. He was a wonderful guy. He had problems like we all do behind the scenes. But when it came to broadcasting, he gave it 110%, 150% every day on the air. He knew his music. He knew his mind. He knew what the audience required. And he knew all this because he made a study of it, and that's what he learned. And to me, he's going to be a tremendous loss. And I can't help but tell you how, well, I think you can tell by my talking, that he was one of the very, very best. And I worked with a lot of the greats. But Jerry would be at the top of my list. And we wish him well, and his wife, and all of you too. And by the way, we got a beautiful day for this, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.